One of my favorite apps is PDF Cabinet, and here is a quick review of the app. Once you launch PDF Cabinet, you're presented with uh, a library. Uh, the library folders are here on your left hand side, and any PDF document that you open up, uh, let's say from maybe a Dropbox or even from your mail, are automatically loaded into the unsorted folder. You see the unsorted folder here at the very top. Uh, folders that do automatically come with the program are the Cabinet Guides folder, and the Cabinet Guides folder have um, different PDFs that give you a really quick start on how to work this program. Uh, annotation, collaboration, syncing, and importing. The uh, explanations are very easy to understand and these are very well written. You also are given notepads for you to start off with, to play with, just so you can get a feel of the app. Here I have a Hunter folders that I created and you'll see I have two PDF documents in it already. One of the things that I can do is I'm going to click on this little cloud in the upper corner here and I can work with Dropbox and I can work with iCloud. In the upper right hand corner I'm going to click on the lock and I can encrypt my folder away from peering eyes so that no one can get into it. directly below my folder name you have an add button and I can add new folders and assign a color label to them. I can also add separators to uh, separate the folders. I'm not going to do either of that. I'm going to click back on unsorted and in the upper right hand corner you'll see a small question mark. I'm going to click on that. And I like that you get these little bubbles that just immediately give you information to tell you how to use this program and to really help you. This is a great app. I really feel that uh, it's very useful and very powerful. So, uh, also here in the library view down at the lower left hand corner, I click on the import button and you can see that you can import from a URL, you can import photos, and you can also import from iTunes. So, cancel that. I can click on the outgoing button and I can email multiple documents and you can see there's a trash can and I can also send documents to the trash if I choose just by clicking and dragging. What I'm going to do is take this document file that's in this PDF file that's in unsorted and I'm going to drag it into my hunter folder. Then click on my hunter folder and once I tap on the document it gives me several options. I can open the document, I can look at the versions of the document, versions are um, annotations or commenting that I've made and then close the session. It saves these versions for you if you like to go back. You can eventually combine or delete these versions. Properties, if I want to change the document name I can here. I'm going to leave it as is. I can duplicate the file. I can also password protect the file. So you can password protect the folder and you can password protect the file. I can also email the document and the annotations or just the document or just the annotations. So I can email it, print it, send it to someone and I can open in another program. So let's open the document. Alright, after I open the document, I'm just going to tap on my screen and that will bring up uh, a menu that allows me to do several things. I'm going to start here across the top and you can see where I can go back to the library if I want. I can also click on several of these menu items. If I click on contents, this is a PDF that was created in InDesign and the paragraph styles uh, created a uh, table of contents when it was exported out to PDF. So any topic that I click on will take me to that page, which is cool. I can collaborate. I can actually invite someone to have a session with me. If they, because they also have PDF cabinet, 
even if they don't have the file, the file will be sent to them and we can have a real-time collaboration session to mark up, to discuss the file. Uh, it's really cool. I can also uh, like see who else is in range and if I want to send them the file I can. Oops, let's go back to annotate. If I click on the annotate button it brings me into the annotation window. I'm going to get out of that for a second and I'm going to click back on collaborate. I've Once I click back on collaborate you can see where you can actually receive annotations. Right now it says you not have, have not received any annotations for this document. But if you want to send this document to someone and let's say they're not in the room to have a live collaboration with you, you can actually uh, receive annotations from them just like you can send them off. So I'm going to go to mail and I just sent this to myself. So I'm going to click on this annotation select open and cabinet and it will bring those annotations to me now th these annotations that are that I've just imported in are um, read only so I can view them and I can hide them if I want to view them again I click here and it says who sent them and when I can click on it to show them again but again they're only uh, read only so I can't even uh, annotate this page when they're there but let's go back to here and click back on the page. Now I can bookmark my files and pages in my file. So let me click over here on the left hand side and I'm going to click on this magnification tool and I can see all of the things that I can search for and view. I can view all pages and you see that some of the pages here have bookmarks already added. So how do you add a bookmark? you go to whatever page you want and let's find a page here that is the beginning of a chapter like this one click on it and then I'm just going to click on the bookmark button here and it will add a bookmark to the page so if I wanted to for example just view, view all bookmark pages I can now do that I can view any annotated pages. I haven't created any annotations yet. So let's go back and do that actually. So let me close this and let's see all pages. If I have all pages selected you see this bar you can slide this bar up and down to get to the page that you're looking for and also in the lower left corner about right here it tells you how many pages are in this PDF so let's go back to bookmark and let's go back to this chapter and let's close this and let's start making some annotations now again you just tap and it turns the annotation window on or off the annotation button here, I'm going to click on it and it brings up the annotation window and it gives you a annotation icon down at the bottom center of your screen. I'm going to hold my finger down on this uh, little highlighter here and what you get is a dynamic menu. By dynamic menu I mean that whatever item I slide my finger to it will select that item but also give me options uh, that uh, or properties that pertain to that item. So with the highlighter I have three colors that I can select from. So if I select pink I can then slide my finger or stylus across and highlight here. So I'm going to click on the check mark to get out of that. And let's say I want to go to another page. Let's see where do I want to go here. Let's go to this one. So, how do you collaborate with others? When you click on collaboration, uh, it will tell you who's in range, who has the program, and you invite them to a session. When they accept, if they do not have the file, the file is automatically uploaded to their iPad so that they can collaborate with you. Any collaborations and annotations that you make on your document are automatically seen on their device. 
So if I, let's say I'm going to add just any type of notation here, and let's say newer map here, these notations are automatically seen on their screen. And in a, any annotations that they make are automatically seen on your screen. So it really makes for real-time collaboration. When I'm making annotations, I don't necessarily have to click first and then click on the annotation button. What I can do is just hold down my finger or my stylus on the screen and directly underneath my finger or my stylus, the dynamic menu will appear. PDF Cabinet. It is a really cool program very easy to work with. Hope this was helpful.